Mm-hmm. 
That was a roller coaster. Wow. Okay, so let's analyze that a little bit. Um, so it was a ship, I think, because I didn't have... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> okay, yeah, okay. So it was this run. Did I not grab food? There must have been nothing or, like, I don't know what the food was. But it was, like, low iron, maybe, like, eight, I think it was. And then I went there, I think. No, it was to the right more. Okay, no, okay. So this was... The perch was pretty good. Um, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit freaking out right now because I didn't think that was going to happen so fast. Okay. Uh, it's just one step closer to sub-13. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so I got that. I did this decently fast. I rode my boat over to here because I saw that. And wasn't it here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And this is like decently deep, deep enough. Okay, so I entered probably a decent time. And then the housing was loaded pretty quick, so I knew it was close. 
I saw that and I saw the fort over there. I'm like, oh, this could probably be good. Uh, I bowed it down here. I went over here. I was gathering blocks. Over here, I was deciding whether I should like maybe like come up from the back and do top down. Because I'm like, I don't have gold armor, obviously. I'm low on food. I don't know what I should do here. But I decided to just go like uh, mid here. There's some dudes. I think I got hit once. I did this. It turned out fine. I just didn't have a lot of explosives. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. thankfully, I didn't mess up the one cycle too bad. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't perfect. I kind of messed up the last thing, but it didn't matter. Uh, so we got some dudes in here. Uh, I, I got a, a lot of pearls. I got fire res. And I had just enough obby. And uh, the only thing I didn't really was confident on. I had to go up here, which was a little bit of a time loss. Um, yeah, overall that route was okay, except for the loot I got from it, but and the fact that I had to go up, but other than that, that was fine. Travel to the fortress was pretty good. Um, getting to the blaze spawner was decently fast. Um, the rates were, I think, pretty good. Yeah, 6 for 11 is pretty good, but the, 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 um, the amount that spawned were so bad. I didn't even know this other spawner was here. I should have checked that earlier, maybe. Um, yeah, the spawn rates were really bad, even after I dug it out. And obviously, I didn't really have enough explosives um, to do that. And I got some more, so I could make another anchor. I originally blinded, like, probably, like, low, mid, nine. It was that way. Uh, 700 blocks is not bad, especially for being ocean exposed like that. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a lot more on this angle. That's why, I like, okay, so I traveled along here. I got some food more than I should have because I thought it was going to be farther and I was going to take more damage. Um, I went through this swamp. I purred a little bit because it was shallow, so that didn't really matter too much. I boated, and it was at this point that I realized my X was already lined up. So I looked to the right. I see the portal room instantly, and that's when my heart started going. And I'm like, all right, here we go. This could actually be good if the perch is decent. So I get into here. This saves automatically a bunch of time. And I think the end enter was like 1308, if I remember correctly. So a minute, like 25. Yeah, that, that's pretty good uh, overall. Uh, you know, obviously it wasn't like open. So I got out of here. A um, little bit worried that I was going to fireball me because it took me a while to get here, but I was fine. I crafted my explosives. I wasn't that confident. I thought I was going to fuck it up. I wasn't not... It, what was it? Oh, wait. I think it was three beds, two anchors. And I... Because I, I'm not really good with, like, going to beds or switching to anchors. Or going to anchors and switching to beds. I'm, I'm a little bit unconf uh, unconfident with that. I might have to practice that some more. But then Persh and I kind of paused a little bit to, like, make sure I didn't fuck up too bad. But, yeah, that was all right. And came time... I don't think it was terrible compared to like some or like the real time like sometimes i have it to where it's like two minutes later so 50 less than 50 seconds is not bad because i'm trying to like pause buffer less um which is like a little bit of a bad habit of mine but uh yeah not terrible overall it was pretty average um the fact that it wasn't bt kind of made me like slower and more cautious throughout the run which kind of sucked because if I got, like, eight salmon or something, I would have played this totally different, I feel like. And would have been faster, and I probably would have got more iron. Um, but I think the split only overall is definitely fine for something that I could get for a sub-13, which is my goal. Um, this nether is very promising. I could have played this a little bit better. And, like, not be, like, so indecisive and in getting blocks. Um... I went through here, yeah, I'm just kind of going to repeat myself, so, yeah, I, I think I did everything, um, where's the seed, here it is, um, yeah, so I might as well leave it now, okay, and I'm going to quit my game for a minute, go to my multi-MC, right here, go here, and then it was this one. Make the world file now. Uh, compress the zip file. So there you go. Here's the world file of me making it. Um, I don't need logs for that time. 
And uh, yeah, I think that's all I need to. Okay. So uh, if you're a casual viewer, thanks for watching. Um, and sub 13 coming soon. Peace out, guys.